Welcome to Rev Up Your Day with David Yannis. We want to take the next few minutes to encourage, build, and strengthen your faith. I believe that if we can bring men and women of God around you that believe strongly in faith and have a great prayer life, they're going to help change your life. Today's guest is Mr. Gerald Davis. He's an awesome man of God. You can find out more information about Gerald Davis at GeraldDavis.org. I have learned that in God's plan for his people materially, that there are five distinct levels to walking in the fullness of what God has promised for us. Level number one, get a job. That's number one. God never promised to bless anybody that wouldn't work. I thank God for people that supply for those who cannot work and don't have the ability to work. But nobody gets wealthy on that plan. We must work. God promised that he would work with us if we would work. Even Jesus said, My Father worketh hitherto, and I work. Don't be satisfied not to be producing something. You can do it with your time. You can do it with investments of money. But you must apply what you have in the best way you know, and God will cause it to prosper. Level number two, when you have a job and income coming in, then you need to get God involved in your money. Okay, preacher, well, how do I do that? Well, you don't steal his money. If I don't steal God's money, God promised he would bless my money. What do you mean by God's money, preacher? Well, you know, he said in Malachi 3, honor the Lord of this first substance and the first fruits of all your increase. Honor the Lord with the tithe. The tithe is not my money. That belongs to God. So I must understand that when I tithe, I'm not giving him my money. I'm just not taking his money and using it for myself. So once I have that established, and by faith, before I write any other check, I make certain that God gets the first tenth out of my paycheck when I work. And then third, you want God to bless your money in abundance. How does that happen? Well, you get into the giving lifestyle. You start looking for ways to give and be a blessing. When you give out of your money after the tithe, and by the way, let me say, you don't have 90% of your money left after you tithe. You still have 100% of your money because the first tenth was not yours to begin with. So when I give, I have to give from what most people call their 90%, but it's actually out of your money, which is what you have left after you've given God His money. And God promised abundant blessings on those who would give. I'm going to share this in a separate opening, but I want to conclude this portion by saying there are two more areas that you need to understand in order to get into the fullness of the five levels that God has promised for His people. I'll talk to you a little bit more about the blessings on your giving in the next segment. Thank you for listening to Rev Up Your Day with David Yannis. For more information about our ministry and what we do and how things are happening, just visit us at davidyannisministries.com. Again, thank you for listening and visit us again at davidyannisministries.com.